I'm here at Moms for Liberty with Nicole Solis from Rhode Island, who's with IWF. Can you tell me a little bit about what brought you to Moms for Liberty today? Uh, yeah, so I am a mother who was sued by the teachers union because I submitted public records requests to get information about public education. And before that, I was just a normal mom. I wasn't involved in politics or anything. And I just wanted to know what my kids would learn in school. And next thing you know, the teachers union sued me because they don't want moms to know what their kids are learning in school. So now I've met wonderful people at Independent Women's Forum, where I'm now a senior fellow, and I'm here at Moms for Liberty to support other organizations of moms that are fighting indoctrination in public school, just like me. I've talked to a lot of protesters who are upset with Moms for Liberty over alleged book bans, and I know you have spoken out against some of the really graphic books that have been in schools. What would you say to those protesters who are claiming that Moms for Liberty and the book you know, this alleged book ban is anti-gay, anti-black and all of that. Well, I would love to show them the pictures of pornography that is in school for children, because I just can't imagine that a grandmother would support her grandchildren looking at pictures of sex acts with children, sometimes children performing these sex acts. And I think that unfortunately, they just don't have the facts and they don't understand that School libraries curate books. They are allowed to not have pornography in school. And it is not a book ban because you can get the books anywhere else in America. If you really want to show your children a blowjob, can I say that on your show? Okay. Um, you can go buy the book yourself, uh, but it should not be tax funded. And mothers and parents and taxpayers all have a right to object to pornography in school. And this is not an extreme position. The extreme position is that we must give our children pornography or else you're a book banner. That is absolutely absurd. Where do you think that these protesters are getting the idea that the books that are being asked to be removed from curriculum are actually wholesome and good books? Um, they're getting it from propagandized media that says that if you disagree with pornography in school, that you are somehow anti-LGBT or a bigot. There's plenty of pornography in these schools that is also heterosexual. However, the vast majority is from the LGBT um, you know, content area. And they're saying that, oh, you have to be looking at pornography in order to understand how LGBT people um, like have romantic relationships. But really what's going on is they're they're dehumanizing kids who are going to grow up to be gay because you're, you're essentially telling them that you should be looking at pornography because you need that. And every child should be treated with respect. They should not be exposed to pornography in school. It doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. And Unfortunately, they're being told the opposite, that for some reason, these kids need sexualized material or else, um, you know, they're not going to feel safe in school. I mean, it's very hard to sort of wrap my head around what exactly their argument is, because at the end of the day, it's pornography that parents don't want in school. And it's unfortunate that the media can't even show these pictures that are in school books of sex acts for kids to see and even, you know, bring home to their younger siblings who will ultimately end up being traumatized with this pornography as well. Thanks so much, Nicole. I appreciate it. Thank you.